Would you stay with a cheating millionaire boyfriend or be with a broke loyal guy? Keep it a hundred, man. That's a hard one, huh? Keep it a hundred. Broken loyal or cheating? He's giving the lifestyle. He's amazing. Great connection. But from time to time, he steps out and cheats. But is it cheating? like an open relationship? Yeah, is this an no, open relationship? No, close on your end, open on his end. That's <laughs> Why can I have one? No, Why you gotta be broke? <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Can we phone a friend? No, you know, what's no, no. <laughs> don't, look at, don't look at her. Don't look at her. She, she can't help you. Uh, so the connection's there. On the connection's there on both sides, but he's just broke and. The other like guy's giving you everything you want. He just, from time I'm, to time, I'll, I'll take the man there that cheats. Whatever. I'm taking the cheater, too. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we living good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this shows, y'all, this shows that if a man's value is high enough, he will be shared. No. It's not ideal. I'm not happy about she it. Says it's like, Yo, fellas, check this out. It's not that it's because he's rich. Get that out your mind. That KC, go ahead and enlighten you guys on some of this game. It's not that he's rich. It's just that he's got options. He's on that edge. He got a lot of things going. He can keep their feelings like a roller coaster up and down. That's how you put a woman in her motherfucking place. Real game, fellas. See, a lot of you guys don't know this. You think you can put her in her place by buying her bags, taking her shopping, tricking Telling her, you know, good morning, good evening, good night, buying, you know, taking her out to eat 24-7. Yeah, she don't know how to cook, none of this shit, because you're too busy spoiling the bitch out at Outback Steakhouse, Ruth Chris, and all these other high-end places or whatever, or far any restaurant. It ain't got to be high-end, just any restaurant, you know. I mean, I, they not all really high-end. I just call them that because um, it may be high-end to her. It may be high-end to you. I don't know. A lot of these restaurants... Got those four or five star rating type thing, so I put it up there. It's more, definitely higher than motherfucking Applebee's, right? <laughs> but y'all already know we're gonna get straight to it though, man. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck. Hop, locking her down, holding her down, submerging her down at that game. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share this shit, fellas. Like, share, and subscribe. Share it. Let's bang this algorithm out. Share it. Get me going through the algorithm. I see what y'all do on the shorts and whatnot, but share this fucking shit. My videos are education purposes only, fair use only. You know how to get at me in my description. Everything's there. We talked about that. Ain't none of that. You know? Like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get straight to it. Yeah, fellas, look, check game. <clears throat> These beta ass questions that they're asking, it's beta. You know, these guys, you know, they on that old, you know what I'm saying? You got to have your money right. You got to be up to par. You got to have a nice car. You got to stay in a big, nice house, whatever, in order to pull any woman, or order to pull the woman that you really want, in order to pull the so-called dimes out here. In order to get these bitches, you got to be in these kind of, you know what I'm saying, places. You got to be having these kind of things. You got to be doing certain things. That's not true. Not at all. Of course, they ain't going to want to be with the nice guy and he's broke. No, not at all. They don't even fucking go together. That, that don't even add up. For one, he's nice. He can't really offer them things, but he opens the door for them, you know, when they're going out to eat or whatnot. He's helped pay his bills. He, he helped do things. He got to wait till his paycheck roll over in order for them to go out and have fun or whatnot, you know, and. He's living probably paycheck to paycheck. He probably don't have too much going on in the financial part, you know. <clears throat> and he's nice on top of that. He delivers flowers. You know what I'm saying? He's short with most respect. Probably don't curse around. Fuck with seatbelt. Sit way up. Honey. You know, that type of shit. She over there, you know, surfing BBCs and all type of shit through her phone. Looking for them big back swipes and doing her thing, you know. He ain't knowing what's up because he game goofy. You know what I'm saying? He game a thief. That's what we used to call him back in the 90s. And then my niggas used to call him niggas game a thief. He ain't got it. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? And he's probably making ends meet. It's not that. Not at all. It's not that, fellas. So, the way they're asking it, in their mind frame, it is that. 
But the way I'm putting it out here, it's not that. Not at all. Because them same women will be with a dude that's paycheck to paycheck. If he loves himself. If he know himself. If he care for himself. If he's very assertive. They'll be with that motherfucker. But he got to be in tune to him. To where they can't see nothing else but him. Because he see nothing else but him. You get it? That's how the energy magnet. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? But that's a real game. But the way these dudes, the interview dudes are putting it out there. Yeah, they were. They looking at it in the, um, in the form of. Um, 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 damn women actually fucking with a nice guy. That ain't got it. You know, he just. Yeah, you know. The way they're thinking, these women. Because they looking at who they receiving this information from. Who they, you know what I'm saying, getting it from. Of course they're not going to be with a nice guy. No. That's um, Brody making ends meet. He ain't got no money. No. Yeah, those type of women are going to choose a rich guy who cheats. Because he's on the edge. He got his shit going. He don't need them. They're the hangarons. They, the one, they need him. So they're going to latch on. So they're going to put up with his shit. But at the same time, they'll put up with the same shit. They put up with the same shit they put up with from a rich guy, from a broke guy. These same women will. I promise you they will. Yeah. But it's who you are. You must know who you are, fellas. And then they'll follow that lead. If you don't know who you are, then these, the interview, I mean, the questions he's asking, yeah, they'll easily answer them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because the nice guy to them. The broken nice guy to them is the motherfucker that put them on a pedestal. Yeah, they get that a lot. They get a lot of guys that ain't got shit going on, but they tricking. They putting them on a pedestal. They simping. They coming off with, with the with the mind frame of, baby, you better than me. I'm not shit. You know, without you by my side, baby, I just can't make things happen. They are R&B music shit. You know what I'm saying? That's real game. So, of course, they ain't going to want to be with him. He's just fucking sucking. He's over nice. He ain't got shit going. Yeah, let me go run over here to this motherfucker like this. Who's rich. Got so many options. He keeps me up and down like a roller coaster. My feelings all over the place. One minute I'm loving him. Next minute I'm, next minute I'm crying. Next minute I hate the fuck out of him. Then I'm back to loving him. Then I'm back to hating him. Then I'm back to crying. All over the place. You get it? That rich motherfucker with options, he'll have her like that. That's in her mind frame that he have her like that. You get it? But you also got rich motherfucking simps. You got rich suckers. That can have options. But they choose not to have options because they all into the woman. You got men like that. They all into the woman who they into. It's like that, fella. So it's kind of all over the place. But to jump off into what they're talking about with this interview... You see how y'all oh, see, fellas? You, you, you see that, you know, he's great to get off it to see you. You know, you got to have your money up. You got to be this. You got to be, no, you fuck, you don't. Just be who you are. You can pull them women, and they'll stick with you. And you living paycheck to paycheck. You ain't no rich motherfucker. You just who you are. They'll fuck with you. They'll be so caught. You'll be so caught up into your mother. You'll be so caught up into yourself to where... They wouldn't do nothing but chase behind or let you go. Because they know you are into yourself. Strongly and deeply into yourself. They know that. So what they will do is either chase behind you or keep on pushing. Keep moving. But there's men out there like that. So I want you fellas to think, um, yeah, see, these kind of bitches, man. That's see, man, nah, nah. These, these kind of chicks right here, you got to have your money up. You got to be looking a certain way. You got to be... Fucking seven foot eight and all that shit. You gotta, the fuck? No, nah, you ain't gotta do all that, man. No. Just be who you are. Just be who you are. Just like us as men, <clears throat> we see women around, you know, might got a nice body, might not. You know, we probably see our, a woman that's a preference to us, if I, that's what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Might, she might be thick, she might not be thick, she might be cute as fuck, she might be sexy, fine, however you put it, she might not. She might be what you like, personally. And it may not be all those things, thickness and all. It may not be none of that. It might be just what you like, you know? But she ain't got too much going on in life. You'll still like her. you still want to hit her. you still want to fuck with her. 
Then you get to know her, and if she got more game than you, she have all your motherfucking money. <laughs> She'll pull you in and have your shit. You still like her, right? You still want to fuck with her. It's no different from these women, bro. They see dudes out here that ain't got too much of shit going, but they still like them. They still will fuck with them. They'll open them legs up and bust that motherfucker open and throw it back on that motherfucker. Fast. Quicker than the rich dude. You know, she give it up quicker than she give it to the rich. Rich dude will have to come off by half a million dollars. This motherfucker over here didn't come off nothing, but you got a condom? <laughs> That's about it. It's real game. So, fellas, it's, you can't just judge things for what motherfuckers say or whatnot. You can't do that. But like I was saying, the questions that he asking them, them type of dudes asking those questions, yeah, they're going to boldly answer it. The way they just answered. Yeah, I'm going to be with a rich guy who who cheats and I'm not being with no broke nice dude. No. But if I would have asked him some questions. I ain't rich, baby. I ain't broke, but I'm not rich. I'm definitely not a nice one. I'm, I'm who I am. I stand on what I stand on. If I'm going to do things, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm a yes and no type motherfucker real fast. Yeah, I do it. Yeah, I know. And keep moving. And wouldn't give a fuck about your feelings. And I guarantee you that interview would have went different. You know, it would have went different. Like a motherfucker. They would have seen it kind of, uh, yeah, fuck, you know. And there are guys that I do like, man, that's not rich, man. And they're very assertive. Like, God, like, yeah. But when you come in there asking this hypergamous ass shit, then you're going to get the hypergamous answers. You get what I'm saying? That's real talk. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. You already know it's a motherfucking message. Holla.